everybody. This is Justin from Fox and Robin Recording, and I have my friend here, Ben Voss, with his pedal board setup. He hooked us up with our pedal board uh, that we set up our stuff on that I showed last time in our last video. So he's going to run through a appreciate lot. It, by the way, he's going to run through a lot of these, and I appreciate the board and the stuff that he's given us. But yeah, give us a rundown of kind of what we got here. Yeah, man. So uh, this is this is my main board. This is uh, something I just built off these uh, Vertex boards. I had a um, pedal train, I think it was like 24 or 26 or 28, whatever it is. Something like that. That I gave to you, and I, I had it all laid out where I had, I had my power supply, which was laid out on top, and I thought, man, you know, all my always-ons, I want to have them underneath and hidden. And uh, and so uh, the same thing with the power supply, just because the cords. And uh, obviously this isn't the most, th this isn't the prettiest of uh, cabling you could ever do, but it does it for me. You know, I'm, I'm not looking for perfection here. It, oh, there's, there's a lot worse out there. Oh, yeah. But uh, so signal chain here. So... Um, Coming in from the guitar, I go to the tuner, which um, I've got the TC Electronic, which um, I love this Polytune, which my friend JTK here introduced me to this tuner, and I've never looked at any other tuner. I, I, I tried his out, and I was like, that's it. That's the one I want. They're, they're quite fantastic. They'll tune yeah. just strum, and they tune. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're great. But I, I didn't just do that for this, my main board, but for my backup, too, you know? Um, but from there it goes into the, uh, POG, which is just your nano POG, uh, Electro Harmonics, which is another company you introduced me to, which is a great company, which is my Octaver. Um, from there I'm going into the wall, the 535Q. This is the mini wall, which I know some people, I, I've got, I, I wear 11 and a half foot shoes, so it's. It's a little awkward, especially being on top. Sometimes this can go back, but uh, you know, you just find your placement. And I mean, the thing sounds great. I had a. Uh, it's a, the mini, right? Yeah, it's the mini. The mini. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the mini uh, 535Q. But um, it's got different settings you could do on there, and a little punch, you know, for a boost that if you want to click that on too, which is really cool. But um, I had a Volwa on there before, and it just it just took out all the lows and even the mids. It was just kind of like a, I don't know, a lo-fi kind of deal. I don't know how to describe it, but it was just real chirpy to me. But this thing just keeps it natural, and I, I love it. So after that, I go to the Hoof, Earthquaker Devices, another company you introduced me to. And I had, as you know, I had the Palisades before. And uh, which is a great tube screamer kind of big thing, but just one for me. And I saw a, a chick named Ariana Powell, who is a great guitarist, who uh, has this on her board. And she, I, I was just like, that's the one I want, and I love it. And, uh, and what does it do? What is it? Yeah. So uh, um, it's a fuzz. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I before this I had the op amp. Um, oh, Big Muff. Right. And, uh, which was kind of like the Smashing Pumpkins version of the fuzz and all that. But this is kind of its own sound. It's, it's just more dialed back. You know, I don't do like super distorted stuff whenever I play with bands and I, I kind of like a little bit of clarity and all that. But this, this hoof, I, th I thought it just, man, it just, it's clean. It's, the tonality is great. And, um, and I've been happy with it. So from there, go into the protein, the brown uh, amplification protein. And I've, I've seen this introduced on YouTube. I mean, who doesn't watch YouTube these days? Especially our kids. But um, It's where I'll these videos are aired. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but uh, that pedal show and Anderson, um, Anderson's um, oh, with... Uh, Oh, what's his name? Danish Mike, all those guys. But um, that I saw them do a review on this, and I love the sound of it. And it's kind of like a, a analog king of tone type knockoff. But it, man, it sounds great. You got your blues breaker side over here, which I this is my always on. I just you know that's that's my 
overdrive. And then over here is like your nobles kind of setting, which, but I, I, I blast it, you know, with my, the distortion and that's, it's got just a deep, rich, right, vibrant flavor to it, which I love, man. It it's, is. It's, it's probably by far one of the better sounding boosts I've heard out there. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. It's great. Um, and this I recently bought the MXR six band EQ, which, uh, uh, there's a guy on YouTube, his name's Lamb Chopper, and he does all these different, um, oh, different settings on his, um, uh, trying to find out like the Kill 'Em All album, Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, all this, all this kind of old school type metal stuff. And he dials us in and nails it. And I was just like, well, and, and then I saw another review of, where just the difference of just boosting this where it's all in just, you know, your zero decibels there. And just the ten tonality difference is right. just huge. It's just creamy, like like you said. It, what it what you what you say earlier it takes out the sawtooth out yeah, of it. Yeah, it kind of makes it less jagged. Yeah, less jagged. Yeah, exactly. We were playing earlier. That's that's where he gets that from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's from good. The, so from there, I go to this Donner, just a cheap noise killer. Before I had the uh, the Boss noise suppressor, which was really cool, but um, I wanted something smaller. Smaller footprint, just fits all in here, and this does the job, man. And I always have it on the hard setting up here. And this is just your noise gate. That's all it is. Just clean out that random buzz. Yeah, take out yep. that, that little 60 thing. 60-cycle hum. You got it. Yep. Uh, from there, I saw a review on this on uh, Brian Wampler's company, uh, Wampler Terraform. You know, he's made the Tumnus, all that stuff, which is a great... Um, great pedals. Yeah, oh, yeah. But uh, this came out, I think, 2019, 2018. But it's got 11 different settings. I mean, you've got your chorus, Ottawa, envelope filter, flanger, phaser, U-vibe, rotary, auto swell, uh, tremolo, uh, what is that, harmonic tremolo, chorus, and dimension. So, And then you've, you know, this is what I use mostly as my boost if I'm going to play a solo or something. I'll just crank up crank up the volume on one of the effects and pop that in. But it's got eight presets, which is really cool. You know, as as you know before, I had the Boss uh, right. 200 series modulation, which was really good. But uh, this has got the eight presets, so it just makes it easier for me, and it's all in one. Um, since I'm playing so many damn gigs these days, you know, it's handy to have multiple <laughs> things when you're playing a gig, especially if it's in one pedal board yeah. or one pedal itself. Then I go into the uh, Collider, Delay Reverb. I, I always liked just an all-in-one Delay Reverb. I don't know. I've gone, you know me, I've gone through every... Everything you can go through. Everything you can go through. And this is the one I finally ended up on. But it's it's awesome. you got four presets here, which you can navigate with this. You know, you can hang on to the reverb uh, for sustain and all that too. But, you know, you've got your digital, analog, tape, reverb, or reverse, oil can. That's all in your um, delay side. It's got the tap tempo, which is cool. Oh, I forgot to mention this Wampler also has the tap tempo, which is great. It's handy for modulation. Yep. And then the reverb side, room, hall, spring, plate, shimmer, e-dome, swell. But um, I've been super thrilled with that. And then finally, under this nasty nest here is my uh, Donner Supply, which has got your um, 10 outlets, you know, your, your one uh, 18 volt in there, but it's got um, eight inputs of your 9 volt with, what is that, 100 milliamps? Yeah, you got your 9 volt and your 12 volt and your 18 there. And then on your 8 channel, you got 500 milliamps. And then at the end, you got your 12 volt and 18 volt. I can't remember. I think I've got this one, both the Protein and the Wampler. I've got those in the 18 and 12. I can't remember which. They probably take quite a bit of yeah, they, quite a bit of power. They do. And then to wrap it all up, um, this is the final. Uh, you know, going after the collider, I go into my loop station, which... It's just for, you know, Play, all the giggles, giggles out there. But um, I've gone through the Ditto. I've gone through the RC3. I've gone through everything. And I was just like, I need something simple because I'm just kind of still learning this. And I love it because you've got this level. 
uh, which is your volume level, but you, you know, press it on once. You've got this dial where it shows you where you're at. Just simple. Simple yeah, yeah. sometimes I is mean, better. It, it, it is, and that, that's it, man. That's, that's, the whole, that's the whole gig rig. I mean, that's, that's more than everything you'd ever want. Exactly. But um, that that kind of is is just kind of in a run through of everything. We would we would be here for hours going through what each pedal these and knobs and did. Yeah, if we and plugged it in, I mean, you and I probably would. It'd be like three in the morning. I'm we, sure we would have a video that's an hour <laughs> um, or more, possibly more. Maybe we'll do a live stream of it sometime. Yeah. Um, but that that kind of concludes the video, I guess. Um, but thanks for watching. Everybody who's watched this so far, and we'll see you next time. Uh, Appreciate it, brother. Don't forget Thanks, to man. subscribe to our channels.